Hello, everybody. I am Teddy Jenkins, the host of the the, the Nerdly Gentleman podcast. That's the name of it, right? We've decided officially. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, Nerdly <laughs> Gentleman. Why not? Why don't you Good tell enough. the nice people what we you didn't watch this week? X Factor, whatever. X that Factor, is, is yeah, right? X Factor. Yeah, that that show where where um uh people go on there and express talent or whatever music. X Factor, yeah. That one, the game show. <laughs> Dude, I don't even I don't know what I'm talking about. You the know this. X Files. Am I The X Files. How do you not know this? I feel so ashamed for <sighs> letting you, making you know this. Um uh, yeah, I didn't yeah, watch. I've I've watched Okay, so just so you know, I've watched like all nine seasons of that show. Oh, great. I've watched, uh, let's see, hold on. Zero. None. <laughs> Zero. Um, Absolutely none. Okay, so I suppose the best thing to do would be for me to explain what the show is about, correct? Probably. Okay, now for anybody who's already saying that you can just skip this part, I mean, you know, it, it's not gonna. It's not, oh yeah, it's this not is gonna... this is a spoiler, by the way. Yeah, these uh, are... so just warning y'all. Well, okay, it, I'm not sure I even really remember the spoilers, dude. Okay, that's that's another thing that we'll talk about in the show. So the show revolves around two FBI agents, Fox Mulder and Dana Scully, and so Fox Mulder is a, a you could call him a nut job. Um, he's he believes in aliens and he believes that you know the government's trying to abduct people and experiment on them and every conspiracy theory you could imagine he's base he's heard of it and he thinks that there's a chance that it's true um and so it, what the reason for this whole belief is because his sister when he was a kid got take abducted by aliens or at least that's what he thought he saw because there was a giant bright light out of his window and his sister got lifted out of it so you know, he he dedicated his life then to finding aliens because he thought there might be a chance that she was still alive. Um, he's like that, Batman, but his sister didn't die. Yeah, and he's not nearly as cool as Batman. Um, you could argue uh, that no one's is. nearly as cool as Batman. Um, he's Batman. But so so Dana Scully, however, is the total opposite. She's the the skeptic, the real, you know, scientific. The realist. Yeah, the realist, the realist. She doesn't believe at all. She's totally skeptical about aliens and the government experimenting on people. Any kind of conspiracy theory, she always puts science, you know, to the, she lets science test it first. Even when she, like, sees stuff. Like, sees, like, government van, you know, military vans and stuff like that, taking people away and all kinds of crazy stuff she's like uh maybe there's you know some kind of explanation to it and he's like name one other thing it could be and she's like i i don't know and but so the, their dynamics very interesting because of how you know they, they're they're total opposites almost you know like the, she she completely thinks he's insane most of the time and he feels like he's on this big quest you know <clears throat> so it's 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 very interesting and then there are many other characters like um the the primary i guess you could say bad guy is a guy named the the i think it's the smoking man is what they call him because he always has a cigarette with him um and he is basically this Okay, so I, I, from what I remember, it's like they find out there's some secret society that's been giving people to aliens, and turns out Fox Mulder's dad is actually the smoking man or something, and so I, I don't even, I, it's it's really complicated, but um, but the smoking man basically is the sh the shadowy agency leader guy, the you know the the guy that's always you know like he stands in the shadows and smoking a cigarette and is and is saying some you know like you know you know some weird conspiracy theory stuff of like it's all true every bit of it everything you've ever thought you know conspiracy theory you've thought was true it's all true so he's that's that's basically the role he fills in he basically fills the role to give out information to the characters so that they can continue on their journey um and so then there's also their fbi uh I don't know what he is. He's like the FBI assistant director, I think, named Skinner. And he's he thinks that Mulder is completely insane. 
and just wants him to do his job as an FBI and agent, F- FBI agent. And uh, I, I suppose I can at least mention these guys. There are these three three guys called the Lone Gunmen, who which their names inspired by the Lone Gunman theory of how JFK got killed. And uh, so basically, they're like what was the theory? Hold on, can you come? The theory was that I think it was like there were three, uh, that there were like three uh, shooters instead of one or something like that. I can't remember, but it was these, oh. but these guys were basically the weird, nerdy hacker guys that lived in a basement and like never spoke to anyone other than Fox Mulder. And so, oh, anytime, so us, us. No, 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 not even close. It's a joke. Um, it's no, a joke. no, 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 I'm, I'm, no, no, I'm, I'm like dead serious. Despite like any. Like, these people were beyond, like, joke-worthy. Like, these people were, like, serious about this stuff. Like, you know, that like, it was stuff like, oh, man, we have all these government files that we've hacked into and and all this illegal stuff that, you know, he, that they, that Fox Marvel was like, thank you. I totally want to give this back. Thank you. And, um, but they, they were really weird and they at one point died but then in like the comic books they're alive or something and i don't know um so yeah that's um that's basically what X well factor. okay what not x factor dude i'll kill you if you say that x call x factor <laughs> one more time um but the reason they call Wait, it x, what is it actually cuz i x, forgot x files the x files so the reason they call it the x files is because so when in the fir- very first episode, when Dana Scully is assigned to work with Fox Mulder, um, he's known for being the guy who handles all the weird FBI cases. So, like anything, when there's a mention of like a uh, you know Bigfoot or the Jersey Devil or Lake Loch Ness monster or El Chupacabra, anything weird, they send him. And so he has this big room that's full of all these cases of weird stuff. Like, just, like, we're out of this world crazy stuff that nobody cared about at the FBI because, you know, it's like if you call and say, hey, FB, the aliens are trying to probe my brain right now and I'm I'm dying, I think, you know, they're not really going to do anything. Um, but so he has all these files and they call those the X-Files because they're, you know, not supposed to be real. They're all the weird stuff. So that is basically the the basic premise of of the x-files so now to get real into it um i I don't know there's okay so here's the this show's biggest problem is that it changes what's happening so much so for instance all right um Many times during the show, so like Fox Mulder's thing, you know, is that he thinks that aliens are trying to take over the world or something like that. And he's uncovering this big conspiracy. Well, then as they goes through, it's like, no, it's not actually aliens. It's the government creating uh, super soldiers out of people and then not telling anybody about it. Well, then the smoke, like, like other people come by and are like, no, listen, that's the government trying to cover up the fact that that there's aliens so it's a conspiracy within a conspiracy about that so there actually are aliens and the government's trying to hide the fact that they're aliens by may, faking the idea that they're that they are creating super soldiers and then it just goes back and forth of well, are they super soldiers or are they both or are there and then it's like i think they it, it, you find out they're like alien super soldiers um and dude, it just goes all over the place, and it's it's really hard to keep track of if you don't pay attention, like super. Pay, and it, and it, here's the other thing: characters can come back that were like characters from like two seasons ago, and they're not gonna give you like a flashback or you know explanation. They expect you to just remember these characters or remember this thing that happened, and it's it, it's it, it, that's I think that's its biggest fault, in my opinion. Um, now the, the thing that it does best is that any single weird thing from science fiction is in this show. So there is literally every sci-fi thing that could ever exist is within this show. Every aliens, you know, just like, like weird, 
I don't even know all sorts like all sorts of different types of aliens and there's like telepaths and and you know there's 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 pyrokinetics there's telekinetics there's um Ooh, i love pyrokinetics yeah, i like that i like that I, specific, I, cool. I, I specifically remember one episode where there was a pyrokinetic and the 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 idea was that fox Mulder and dana scully i think had to stop the guy before the police killed him because you know they were just gonna be like holy cow a dude shooting fire out of his hands okay shoot him so th- that's basically there are also and most of the um, a lot of the episodes are really like one-offs so like there were there are episodes you know where they'll just randomly go hunt bigfoot you know like like all sorts of there are basically just the x-files themselves and then there's this big you know overarching story that happens throughout um which i think is my favorite kind of storytelling don't you where there's like yeah. one-off episodes but then there's also the overarching story that comes from the 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 one-offs um and it's it's really good it's it's very cool getting to see scully and Mulder's interactions with one another since they both have such different viewpoints on everything so it's it's it, it, at some point though it, later during the series though here's the problem is that later during the series she's like seen aliens like it, i think at one point she gets like probed and like she has like <laughs> a, and she has like an alien baby that can like and get this the alien baby can like float make stuff float and like like legit like stuff that like you couldn't deny this stuff no matter what but she's still like now are you really sure this is a pyrokinetic we're dealing with i mean that just sounds so crazy and i'm like wait hold hey, on it's... hold on she got probed had an alien baby it has abilities and then she's still confused yeah like like, and, wait, like so she pyrokinetic no no she just she's just super skeptical about everything till the t- not even at the end she's like really skeptical and it's it, it's just what about her baby <laughs> i know it's it's it, i mean i th- later during the series she accepts the fact that you know there's aliens and stuff like that but it's like anything else like for instance a pyrokinetic or telekinetic or super oh soldiers gosh. or anything like that she's kind of skeptical still about that and i mean i i there's multi i mean i suppose you could go well any normal person would freak out during these circumstances so they would go into denial about all this stuff, um, but but still, like I, I just I feel like it's pushing it a bit that from season one to season nine, she's still skeptical right. about some things. By season nine though, she's kind of like fully like, oh yeah, all this stuff's real, like you know like a full like she totally think thinks that everything Mulder says was completely right. Um, at least most things, but I, it, it's, it's, it's interesting. I mean, it's that that's it's 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 not bad. It's not like it's you know like, you know. I mean, it's only those moments where in the beginning when Fox Mulder's coming up with a theory that she goes, now nah, Mulder really, pyrokinetics, telepaths, aliens, you know, like that sort of like that tone of really. Like really, this is what you think, right. and it's like always that kind of stays there, and it's, that's the only time that's ever really prevalent. Because I mean, she. What's weird is that even if she'll see Bigfoot, she'll think could have been a could have been a gorilla. <laughs> like like yeah. she'll try to. She'll, I think, I think though that's I think that's anybody that will try to rationalize stuff. I, I think which I think I mean, makes I suppose, sense. yeah, that's human. I mean, we, you know, like for instance, if you saw Bigfoot, are you really gonna go telling people, "I saw Bigfoot"? Like for instance, they have to write reports on all this stuff at the fun. end. They have to write reports on all this stuff at the end. So whenever they see something real crate, like like okay, for instance, the pyrokinetic thing, they'll report that you know, it's a we saw a pyrokinetic dude. But like if it's like the government's trying to you know probe people and kill them and you know ruin their lives or stuff like that they'll exclude that because because that'll get them like fired since they work for the government um but it's 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 a very weird show i gotta say it's it's good it don't get me wrong it's not bad in any way i don't i mean it's bad in a couple ways but not majorly it's not like it's you know i'd say oh this isn't really that good um 
a lot of people have done like podcasts and stuff on the X Files. I mean, it's it's you definitely should watch it, but only watch it if you are okay with hearing conspiracy theories over and over and over again. Because that's really what it takes. Is ultimately, you got to be willing to just like accept the fact that this is super convoluted. <clears throat> You know, like there's no point in which it's simple and makes sense. It's always – and then, <laughs> dude, dude, they go through so many plot twists too because it's like, okay, in – at one point, Fox Mulder goes missing and nobody knows what's happened to him. Well, it turns out he's being tortured by aliens in a big alien torture room thing. And then like for some reason, they just decide to drop him back off at Earth. And then he's, you know, he's so they torture him. Wait, what? Why were they torturing him? Why I, were they I, torturing I him? I forgot. You know? I think it was like they wanted him to stay silent about the whole alien thing or something. And like, there's, dude, there's so many times like a shady, a shadowy figure is like, you can't talk about this. So many shit. Oh, oh, by the way, so many shadowy figures. Shadowy figure after shadowy figure telling somebody, don't look into this, or you should go into this. You should keep pushing. You know, you got to find the truth. You know, like like even Fox Mulder has a famous poster of a it's a, a poster of a UFO that says "I want to believe," and on his wall, and it's become a real iconic symbol of X Files. Um, so I mean, it's it's real crazy. It's it's just a lot of it's really insane, and I mean, it's it's like I said, it's good. Um, Fox Mulder. Though, here's the problems with Fox Mulder and Dana Scully. Dana Scully, I already mentioned, is is skeptical about everything. But Fox Mulder is like... You know that guy... So you know how conspiracy theorists... Like you think that none of... They'll never be satisfied. You know, like whatever answer they get, it won't be the answer they want. They want the answer of the moon landing was faked or... You know, like no matter if, if like for instance, if they were allowed access to a government, the greatest government facility ever, and could look through any files they wanted, and they found out the moon landing was wasn't faked, then they'd be like, "Well, they changed the documents before I got there." You know, like there's always a conspiracy theory that can continue it. You know, like the theories right. don't end. It's just, and so by the end of it the end of the show and this is kind of spoilers i think that uh, right, so spoilers it, alert yeah be spoiler ready alert. don't get butt hurt um basically i what i from what i remember it's like the aztecs were right in predicting that when the mayan calendar ends the world ends but it's actually that aliens will invade and enslave us and so this group that the sig the smoking man is a part of has been like okay so so he sa- it, what happened was that they had to sacrifice one of their children in order to their fa- the rest of their family to be spared was the idea i think and so they all you know gave up a child and so the smoking man is actually uh fox mulder's father and he gave up his sister who you know he thought was abducted by aliens so that's what happened to her, and that, and she's actually dead now. Um, so, as you can imagine, that's very convoluted. <laughs> that's very complicated, and so I, from what I remember, the ending was just Fox Mulder and Dana Scully being like, "Well, aliens, I guess, are gonna wipe out the Earth in you know a couple years." And, like, that's where it ends. Like, it just ends with that. Like, it doesn't really... Seriously? Yeah, which... which that's the which, crappiest but ending that's, ever. But that's why they're making a new season now for to for wrap everything up. Because they always intended to make another season. That was the the thing. Um, so, which I'm very happy they're making another season because it, you know... I mean, I could not stand... Like, like it was not a very satisfying ending. So if you want to, like, watch, you know... If you're one of those people who likes a complete story, I would recommend waiting till the next season comes out on Netflix. Because otherwise, it's you know otherwise it's just going to be seasons one through nine, and then it's going to be you're going to be like ah. Uh. And by the way, remember wait, so is it 
they're continuing it. Yeah, yeah, they're continuing it right where it it's ten years after it left off. Since they're you know they're older now. So I guess aliens are gonna blow up the Earth in a few years. Just okay, the so first from, episode from, of the new it's, season. It's, it's just the Earth blowing up and everyone's dead. It's interesting because from what I've seen in the trailers, it it's like it looks like it's just gonna be more of you know the X Files, like finding creatures and stuff like that, which set which is great because I don't mind those episodes at all. Because the re- the episode I gotta say the best episodes are when it's just a one off, and it's like. Hey, let's go find Bigfoot. And then it's like after tons and tons of searching and conspiracy theorizing, they don't find anything. And then it's like off in the distance, they see a giant hairy creature run into the woods or something. And it's stuff that's like, it leaves a lot of it to mystery, which I like because then it's like, it's not just, oh, hi, Bigfoot. You know, like, it's like, okay, uh, you know, whatever the government's created a guy that looks like Bigfoot for some weird conspiracy reason, um, or you know, there's all kinds of stuff. Like, like I think at one point Fox Mulder switches bodies with a government agent, and then he gets probed again. Uh, everybody gets probed during this. Like everyone gets probed, um, which is su- I mean, it's I mean, it's an it's really a- weird. <laughs> It is really weird, but I mean, it's like you know. I guess it's an alien show, so it's like, you know, and then it's like X Files, the show where everyone gets probed no matter what. Oh, by the <laughs> way, so many times they break into government facilities. I cannot tell you how many times. Aren't they working for the government though? Exactly. So Scully is always like, "We shouldn't be doing this. Like, we'll lose our jobs." And then he's like, "But I gotta know the truth because the truth is out there." You know, like that's one big thing that that always keeps coming up. The phrase "the truth is out there," because um, all the shadowy figures keep telling him the truth is out there. The truth is out there. I, I it's it, it. A lot of it doesn't make sense. It requires a lot of. You know what it sounds like? It sounds like Scully is insane. In some way, she is. In some way, she's more insane than Mulder for believing in aliens. Which I mean, that's crazy that you'd think. But again, I guess the the excuse is that you know anybody would go into denial from thinking. Like for instance, imagine thinking your government's like sending offering alien sacrifices to pe- to aliens. I mean, what what are you supposed to do? Be like, yeah, let's just keep working for the FBI because that's the best job to have when you're you know you're you know that your government is offering people as alien sacrifices i mean it's it's i don't know i mean it's just it's scully is in in many ways really insane um she's they're great actors by the way i just want to say they're really great actors though um but i mean i just i'm cur- really curious as to what this new season is going to be like because it's made by the same director um which is awesome because he's always he's always said, "I'd love to do a tenth season of it," and I think this is one of the only times in which a TV show has come back after like years of being off, isn't it? Like, do you remember any other cases like that where a TV show would come back for being off for like ten years and it would just continue? No, but if I die, I'm gonna put my last will. I want uh. What is it? Spectacular Spider-Man to come back because <laughs> oh, yeah. that, was a great, that was a great show. Yeah. Um. Any questions? I was I was really sad how that ended. Or uh, League of Superheroes, which it wasn't great, but you know what? It was entertaining. Okay, that's I'm not, not what I meant by questions. Man. I need a break. <laughs> okay, any questions no, but... about X Files? <laughs> Ask a question about X Files. Because ask I don't a question. Think... Okay, so. Uh, okay, so probing. Um, let's see. You want to like, ask what, this... what did the aliens look like? What did the okay, aliens that's, look that's like? That's the I'm weird thing. You the almost probing. never see the aliens, like what they look like up close. Because A, when you do see them, they can shapeshift. Uh, and B, it's like the whole, you got to recognize the whole thing, the whole show is supposed to be like, Okay, you know those weird photos of like the Loch Ness monster and that shows and it's and your people are like, eh, it's just some driftwood or something. It's it's that's what the whole show is. 
is that it's stuff like you don't really know. It's just a th- you know, it's always like it's always wrapped in mystery. So that's why it's always it always plays with your head of is this the government or is this aliens? So for instance, there's one episode I remember specifically. I think it's like the third episode in the first season where um Fox Mulder and Dana Scully are investigating a fighter pilot f- because he's he was freaking out or something like that and they go and check out this air airbase airfield where the government it appears is where they're seeing UFOs flying around like actual UFOs just flying around the sky well then they dig into it and it's like um uh oh it's actually some you know some experimental government aircraft that can you know destroy anything in a matter of seconds and it's like okay well then it's like no it's actually create it's a ship created from alien technology that we're holding at the airbase and it's like okay and and then it's like Mulder goes on to the the base and then he gets, I don't know, probed or something, and then he comes back and he's all weird, and then he gets, you know, like, like, like they they take him out in a big Humvee from the government the, from the base, and then Dana Scully's there, and he's all messed up, and then get this, uh, he comes out and he's in the car, and she says, hey, you know, like what what happened? What what happened to you in there? And he's like, I don't remember like anything since yesterday. So they wiped his memory. So then it's like you don't know, like they've hooked you on it, but you don't know anything. Like you almost know less than you did before. And it's kind of brilliant for doing that because then you want to watch more and see what happens. But it all kind of, it's not like lost. You know, like lost, it kind of, from what I'm, the way I'm describing it, it makes it sound similar to lost where it's like, they have all these huge questions that are very interesting, but they don't answer any of them. It's not like Lost. I feel like I'd be really mad, though, just watching that show. Like, I'd lose my mind. Well, like, you, so stupid. You, Why can't they just you, answer something? They they do answer stuff, but it's it's like, are these answers definitive? Or is it just, you know, a theory? For Like, they wrap so much stuff in conspiracy that you don't know what's real anymore. You don't know, is is are there actually... Like, for instance, several times... They just make you, they make it you think that maybe the aliens aren't actually real at all. Maybe that Mulder is just insane, or maybe you know it's just his imagine. Like maybe he just saw something and thought it was something else, and it's actually the government or 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 you know some weird secret society or the Illuminati or you know it's like all it's it's conspir it's nothing but conspiracy. So it it makes it interesting because you know you can't really definitively tell which answers are true which is it's i think its purpose is is that um but really i mean you gotta watch it at least just to see what it's like um because i mean i think it is i think it's a great show i think it's just very complicated and that's its only fault is how convoluted it gets um but you know it probably wouldn't be the same show if it if it wasn't convoluted um how are we on time? Are we done? Are we finished? Uh, we're done. All yeah. right, then. Uh, well, you guys, thank you for listening slash watching for this us. This has been uh, Teddy talking and me listening very yeah. intently and then commenting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because um, I need to start watching TV. Now, next week, uh, we are going to review this new episode of X-Files that comes on tonight, actually. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah, so we'll... we'll do a review of that next week and let you know if it lives up to you know if it if it actually is as good as the old show or if it's just gonna be you know a watered down here's all the answers (laughs) i feel like that's what the new season might be that it might just be here's just to clarify here's all of the answers and here's everything making sense now although that might not necessarily be super terrible since you know like I said, the ending wasn't really outstanding. I'm sure some people thought it was amazing, but I don't know. I felt like it, you should have answered something by the end of the show. You know, like Lost didn't really answer anything when it ended. You know, I don't want to compare it to Lost, but, you know, 
the endings are kind of just okay have you ever watched lost so that's fun yeah what have, have i ever you, lost what have you ever watched lost Oh no, I have not. Are we? Have you stopped the podcast? By the way, no. I was way. I was talking to you, and you weren't talking back. Um, I zoned out. I'm sorry. Okay, Should we do an fine. ending now? No, We're no. On time, Let dude. me find. Yeah, yeah. Thank you all for watching. I am Teddy Jenkins, the clueless slow spawn, joining me this episode. Yes, I have amnesia. I'm sorry. Yep. And uh, this has been the nerdly gentleman. We are the nerdly gentlemen, aren't we? Mm-hmm. Goodbye.